Okay, so last time ang ginawa natin is trial balance. Ngayon gagawa naman tayo ng adjusting entries and yung worksheet. And bago tayo mag-proceed sa paggawa ng worksheet, gagawin natin itong mga adjusting entries ni Wedding R as Company. Ang adjusting date is May 31, 2019. So, gagawin natin yung adjusting entries ni Wedding R as. Yung link ng journal entries and yung trial balance na yung mga topic bago ito is nandyan sa description sa video. Nandun yung mga previous topic natin sa accounting cycle. So, continuation tayo ng accounting cycle and nandun na tayo sa step 5. Meron na rin tayong playlist ng adjusting entries dito. So, nandun yung mga asset and expense method, income and liability method, depreciation, accounting for bad debts. So, application siya nung lahat nung diniscuss natin under ng adjusting entries. Ia-apply natin siya dito sa different na adjusting entries na naka-mention sa company or mga adjusting entries ni Wedding RS for the date May 31, 2019. On wedding, the Wedding RS presented the following information pertaining to its accounts that will need adjustments for its May 31, 2019 month and financial statements. On May 1, 2019, Wedding R has paid 8,000 for 2 months na in advance. So, gagawin natin yung adjusting entry for letter A. And, para makita natin yung adjusting entry for letter A, dito, nandito yung originating entry ng bawat adjusting entry. So, sa letter A, nagbayad ng rent for 2 months in advance ng May 1. So, yung entry to record the prepaid rent during the May 1 is debit, prepaid rent, credit cash. So, itong mga journal entries na to is nandun ito sa video ng accounting cycle step 2, yung preparation of journal entries. So, kung gusto siyang i-in makita ulit, so, i-view nyo lang yung video. Okay. Ito yung originating entry. Then, dito natin ilalagay ang adjusting entry. So, nung May 1, Debit prepaid rent credit cash yung originating entry ng adjusting entry ng letter A. Ngayon, ang adjusting entry is May 31, 2019. Therefore, yung 8,000 na prepaid rent is ma-adjust na siya for the May 1 for the May 31, 2019 kasi na-consume na yung 1 month. So, to record the consumed part of prepaid rent in advance ng May 1, debit, rent, expense, and mababawasan na yung prepaid rent. At what figure? 8,000 divided by 2 months times 1 month. Dahil from May 1 to May 31, 1 month. So, 8,000 divided by 2 times 1 equals 4,000 pesos. Credit prepaid rent, 4,000 pesos. Okay, letter B, May 4, 2019. Wedding R has acquired a one-year comprehensive insurance coverage on the service vehicle and paid 14,400 premiums. So, ito naman ay prepaid insurance. So, nung record yung May 4 for the prepaid insurance, debit prepaid insurance credit cash. So, asset method ang ginamit ulit for the transaction letter B. Yung kanina, letter A, asset method din. So, same sila ng record. Yung mga prepayments is nire-record ni, ni Wedding R as using the asset method. So, debit, prepaid insurance kasi asset account. Ngayon, May 31, i-adjust na natin yung prepaid insurance kasi na-consume na yung for the period ng May 1. So, ito ay May 4. May 4 to May 31 is almost 1 month so ito yung date from may 4 is from date ng may 4 to may 31 is assume na 1 month na siya so naubos na or na consume na yung 1 month portion ng prepaid insurance so debit insurance expense credit prepaid insurance at what amount 
14,400 divided by 12 months kasi 1 year yung period ng prepaid insurance times 1 month kasi May 1 to May 31 is 1 month. 14,400 divided by 12 times 1 equals 1,200. Credit sa prepaid insurance, the same amount. Okay, letter C. May 8, 2019, wedding are as purchase supplies, 18,000 pesos. At the end of the month, Guevara makes a careful physical inventory of supplies. The inventory count showed that supplies costing 15,000 are still on hand. So, to record yung supplies na binili nung May 8, debit supplies, 18,000, credit accounts payable, 18,000. Ngayon, pagdating ng May 31, 15,000 na lang yung supplies. Meaning, <coughs> yung 3,000 pesos is na-consume na ni Wedding RS. And still, asset method ang ginamit to record the supplies. So, debit, supplies, expense, Credit supplies. Kasi nabawasan na yan yung supplies ni Wedding RS. At what amount? 18,000 nung binili. Naging 15,000 na lang nung May 31, 2019 after ng physical count. Therefore, 3,000 is the expense portion ng supplies. Debit supplies expense, credit supplies, 3,000 pesos. Letter D. The service vehicle which was bought on May 4 for 420,000 pesos will last for 7 years and with a salvage value of 84,000. So, ito naman ay depreciation. Yung originating entry to record the service vehicle is debit service vehicle credit cash. Ngayon, magkakaroon tayo ng adjusting entry. So, application naman ito ng depreciation expense. So, to compute the depreciation, so, lalagay natin dito yung entry muna, debit, depreciation, expense, service vehicle, credit, accumulated depreciation, service vehicle, at what amount. Ngayon, i-determine natin yung depreciation for the service vehicle as of May 31, 2019. Okay, so kukumpitin natin yung annual depreciation. So, dito na lang sa ilalim. Annual depreciation is equal to cost, which is 420,000, minus the salvage value, 84,000, divided by 7 years. So, annual depreciation of service vehicle ay 48,000 pesos. Ito ay annual so, good ito for 12 months na 48,000. Ang adjusting entry natin is at May 31, 2019 lang. So, from acquisition date which is May 4 to May 31, so almost 1 month. So, ang assumption, consider na siya as 1 month. So, yung 48,000 is hindi pa natin yan record as buo kasi yan ay annual, meaning good for 12 months. Divided by 12 para ma-determine natin yung monthly depreciation so, depreciation expense ay 48,000 divided by 12, 4,000 pesos. Credit, accumulated depreciation, 4,000 pesos. <clears throat> Next is office equipment. Office equipment that was acquired on May 5 for 60,000 pesos will have a useful life of 5 years and will work less at the time. Ibig sabihin, walang salvage value yung office equipment. So, ito yung entry to record the office equipment. Ngayon, magkocompute ulit tayo ng depreciation. So, debit, depreciation expense, credit, accumulated, depreciation, office equipment. At what amount? Ngayon, compute ulit natin siya. Annual depreciation is equal to Cost na 60,000 minus the salvage value which is wala divided by how many years? 5 years. So, annual depreciation is 12,000 pesos. Ulit, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin ang 12,000 kasi yan ay annual. 
siya ay good for one year. So, para ma-determine natin yung one month, which is May 5, binili yung office equipment. So, from May 5 to May 31. So, assumption is one month na siya. 12,000 divided by 12 months. Kasi 12 months ay equivalent sa one year para ma-determine natin yung monthly depreciation. Depreciation expense, office equipment, 1,000. Credit, accumulated depreciation, office equipment, 1,000 pesos. On May 15, wedding are as receive 10,000 as an advance payment for the referrals made. At the end of the month, one of the three couples referred has already taken their marriage vows and as a result, the amount of 4,000 pertaining to the referred event has been realized. So, nangyari nung May 15 is nagbayad yung mga potential client ni Wedding RS ng in advance na 10,000 pesos. <clears throat> and, ang normal operations ni Wedding RS is mag-arrange ng wedding. Since na nagpakasal na yung isa sa three couples na nagbayad ng 10,000 in totality and 4,000 yung amount na pertaining dun sa couple na nagpakasal na. So, na-arrange na ni Wedding RS yung kasal, nag-takes place na yung Kasal, which is meron na siyang na-render na service, meaning may portion ng 10,000 yung na-realize na as income, which is dito given naman siya, 4,000 pesos. <clears throat> so, yung originating entry is cash, debit, and earned refer referral revenues, 10,000 pesos. So, liability method. Ngayon, ina-record na natin yung adjusting entry, debit, and earned referral revenues credit referral revenues at what amount yung 4000 na given kasi nagpakasal na yung couple yung isa sa mga couple na nagbayad ng 10000 in totality na perform na ni wedding r as yung service therefore magre-recognize na siya ng revenue 4000 pesos Letter G, at the month end, two employees have worked for three days beyond the last pay period. Each of employee's salary rate is 300 pesos per day. Okay, so ira-record natin yung accrued salary. So application tong letter G ng accrued salary. So ito yung adjusting entries natin. For letter G, wala siyang originating entry. Then, i-record na natin yung accrued salaries. So, debit, salaries, expense, credit, salaries, payable. Kasi, nag-work na yung employee for 3 days beyond the last day or the last pay period. Meaning, kahit yan ay unpaid, still i-record natin yung accrued expense. So, debit salaries expense, so ang rate ng employee is 300 pesos per day. So, 300 times 3 working days. So, 3 days. 300 times 3 times number of employees. Dalawa. 2 Employees who have worked for 3 days at 300 pesos per day. So, 300 pesos which is yung rate per day times 3 days times 2 employees. So, 300 times 3 days times 2 employees equals 1,800 accrued salaries. Letter H. On May 2, Guevara borrowed 210,000 from Metro Bank, she issued promissory note that carried 20% interest per annum. So, ito yung originating entry nung nag-loan or nangutang ng pera si Guevara sa banko. Si Guevara ang proprietor ng business and yung proceeds nito is gagamitin niya for business purposes. So, ito debit cash credit notes payable. So, meron siyang interest na 20% per annum. So, application ito ng accrued Interest. So, i-record natin yung accrued interest from May 2, 2019 hanggang May 31, 2019. 
So debit interest expense credit interest payable at what amount principal which is 210,000 times rate which is 20% per year times time and from May 2 which is yung date ng utang or pangungutang ni Guevara sa Metro Bank up to May 31 which is yung adjusting entry date ni wedding RS so siya ay 1 month so therefore principal times rate times the time which is 1 over 12 ng taon kasi 1 month lang yung Nag na incur so 210,000 times 20% times 1 month equals 3,500 credit interest payable 3,500 okay letter i wedding are as agreed to arrange a rush but simple civil wedding for a madly in love couple in the afternoon of may 31 the entity intended to charge fees of 5,300 for the services which is earned but unbilled. Meaning, May 31, 2019, nagkaroon pa ng client si Wedding RS. And during the day, which is May 31, 2019, nakumpleto ni Wedding RS yung services na kailangan for the customer. And May 31, nakumpleto niya yung Service, the entity intended to charge fees of 5,300 for the services which is na completo ni wedding RS nung May 31, which is earned but unbilled. Meaning, yung billing invoice or yung service invoice for the amount is hindi pa nagagawa. So, most likely magagawa ang service invoice invoice for the 5,300 sa susunod na buwan na, which is June. Kasi May 31 nangyari yung transaction. But still, May 31 nangyari yung completion ng service, kailangan pa rin nating i-record yung revenue dyan kahit hindi pa na ibibil. So, originating entry is wala kasi siya ay transaction ng araw ng May 31 and yung adjusting entry niya dito would be debit to accounts receivable credit consulting revenues na 5,300 pesos. So, nagawa na natin yung lahat ng adjusting entries ni Wedding RS. Mga kapag-proceed na tayo sa pag-prepare ng worksheet.